What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. 2019 is finally coming to an end. There were a lot of ups and downs in terms of horror and you know it actually wasn't a bad year. We actually had a decent year in terms of the horror genre but of course there are a handful of movies that stand out at the top the best of the best. So here are my top five horror movies of 2019. First of all let's start with a few honorable mentions. There are some movies out there that were good. They were entertaining, or they just don't quite fit the horror genre, but they still deserve to be mentioned here now, starting first with Child's Play. Now, I know we were really nervous for this movie when it came out. You may remember our trailer reactions. We thought it was going to be terrible. It actually was a bit of a pleasant surprise. It was a fun ride, and I think it fits okay within that Child's Play universe, and it should be respected as a decent entry into that universe. Next honorable mention, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. This one I expected actually to be a little bit better. I thought it was going to make the top five when it originally came out. Um, although it's not that great movie, doesn't deserve to be on the top five in my opinion, it was still a fun ride and deserves to be mentioned here. Girl on the Third Floor, our next honorable mention, a movie that I thought would just be a throwaway one. Actually, was a pretty fun ride. CM Punk taking on the show a little bit. It's kind of nice having him come into this horror genre. We knew he was a big fan already. Uh, he's constantly referencing horror movies on Twitter. So seeing him sneak into the horror genre this year and put on a movie like Girl on the Third Floor, pretty solid. I enjoyed it a lot. And then there's Crawl, another movie I thought we'd just simply look over. Another monster gator movie. Uh, actually, was a pretty fun ride, exciting. Some decent suspense in there as well. And just an overall good-looking creature type of film. And now these next two, the ones that probably don't really fit into the horror genre. First of all, Joker. Now, Joker, although it's your DC movie, your superhero vibe type of movie, uh, it definitely is pretty freaky. There's some traumatizing things in there. And although it's not truly a horror film, there's a lot of horror elements in there. And I feel like it deserves to be mentioned here because it probably creeped more people out there rather than some of these horror movies did this year. And our last honorable mention here, Knives Out. Uh, again, doesn't really fit into that horror genre. It's more of a thriller mystery but again, another fun one, a cast that's loaded with A-list actors, and just one of those great whodunit films, a fun ride, but not really a horror movie. And now moving on to our actual top five lists of 2019, the best of the best, coming in at number five, Ready or Not. Now this one probably didn't make it on to most top five lists, but I actually was pleasantly surprised by this. It felt like another one of those cheap cult films where it would just be a throwaway but there's actually a decent amount of suspense in there, genuine suspense, some great performances, and there's quite a bit of humor. Humor that is played out well, unlike some of the horror movies this year. It was humor that was gave you a sigh of relief, and then we're right back into tension. And uh, it was a fast pace from beginning to end. You're constantly moving. It was a fun ride, and it ends a lot differently than I expected. A satisfying ending, to say the least. Ready or not, definitely makes my top five list, but it probably didn't make many. And now coming in at our number four slot, It, Chapter 2. A lot of people probably, again, probably won't put this on their top five list, but I found It, Chapter 2. When it was really running with the suspense, it did well. There are a lot of moments with unnecessary humor. I agree with that. Some of it's out of place. Some of it's decent. But the casting is so perfect. And now that we already know, we have a relationship with these characters already from the first film, we're able just to buy in and have a fun time with it. It Chapter 2, I think it's a decent follow-up to It Chapter 1. Maybe not as good, maybe not as scary, but still one of the better horror films of the year, and it makes our top five list because of that. And coming in at our number three spot, Midsummer, Ari Aster does it again. Not as good as Hereditary, I think we can all agree with that, but still this creepy artistic vibe to that he's bringing to this horror genre is pretty impressive. And it's just a, it's a whole new twist. It's a whole new thing in here, a lot different than what we're used to in terms of the horror genre, and I can respect it. Uh, it's about as weird as it gets, but there's something about that type of horror that makes it exciting. Again, better than I thought I was going to be. I was like so lost in the trailers, I didn't think I was going to like it, but it ended up being a pretty fun ride. And Midsummer, again, Ari Aster, he's one you need to continue to watch out for as he makes his way to this horror genre. Uh, it's great so far. Makes our number three spot for top five horror films of 2019. And coming in at number two, with no surprise here, Jordan Peele's Us. Jordan Peele does it again. This is his first true horror flick, I would say. Get Out, 
probably fits more in that thriller genre. But I, I would say Jordan Peele is two for two. Keep it going. Have fun ride. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with this one. Truly suspenseful. Definitely, I agree with his saying that it's more of a monster film. I get those vibes. And all around, just amazing performances and great direction from Jordan Peele. I'm excited to see what he does in the future because clearly he's got it. He's got the bug for the genre. I'm excited to see where he goes next. And coming in at number one for our favorite film of 2019. Favorite horror film, that is. But arguably favorite film, too. Uh, if you saw a review for this, it's probably no surprise. Dr. Sleep was just fantastic. I uh, absolutely love Dr. Sleep. I thought, I honestly think it's a beautiful follow-up to The Shining. It's While it's not that horror terrifying film that is The Shining, it, it plays with that story so well. It's such a unique mystery. And they, although it's there's a ton of Easter eggs there and they're playing on nostalgia quite a bit, it has its own story. It's very unique. And they run with what they had. I had an absolute blast with it. Uh, I think it truly is the best horror film of 2019. I'm also just a huge fan of Mike Flanagan. I think he is... I think I'm going to follow him the most in terms of all the directors that we're currently seeing in the horror genre. I'm one of the biggest fans of The Haunting of Hill House. And then he comes in and does Dr. Sleep. I also love Hush. I think his wife puts on fantastic performances as well. All around, Dr. Sleep was a good fun ride. And I'm excited to see where they go next. Also, Ewan McGregor. Hey, shout out. Who would have thought Obi-Wan Kenobi could come in there? And steal the show like that. Not too shabby. Hey, that's our top five list. Let us know yours in the comments below. But that's going to wrap up today's video. We'll be back tomorrow with the top five worst horror movies of 2019. There's a lot of bad ones out there. And I'm here excited to hear your pins on that one too. So come back tomorrow. That's going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time.